afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Who says you have to go out and spend sixty, seventy thousand dollars to get a good diesel pusher? Folks, this is a value price, 1997 Fleetwood Discovery 36 RS, 38 foot diesel pusher with a slide for under $30,000. Folks, this thing's in mint condition all the way around. It's only got 86,000 miles. Uh, it's got that big Cummins diesel motor. It's the 230 horse, which will run 65, 70 miles an hour all day long without a problem. Uh, great running, great driving RV. We just drove it in 250 miles, and it did great. Uh, it's got the Onan 6500 watt LP generator running right now, powering everything on it. This unit's got a big slide out. It's in excellent condition. It's even got a washer and dryer, all for under $30,000. As we walk around it, folks, it's got the Guard door awning. Notice the exterior, how nice and clean it is. Notice it's not fading, not peeling, not no delamination. You know, this was back when Fleetwood was king of the road and it was one of the best built ones you could buy back in the mid and late 90s was a Fleetwood coach. This was back in there when they were just pretty much the cat's meow so to speak 38 foot long corners aren't beat up it's got the tow package leveling jacks the power gear leveling jacks look at the back of it folks you know a lot of these bigger ones like this you'll see the corners beat up where they backed into stuff but not this one right here it's got the window awnings full heated basement Big slide out system with a with a tray that comes out with it, the outside storage compartments. You know, this is a four seasons model. Tires look good. Slide topper looks good. The awning looks good. Generator purrs like a kitten. This is a nice motor home and and here's the thing folks. I mean you like I said, you can go out and spend 60, 70 grand and have a nice newer motor home, maybe an extra slide or two at the campground, but chances are Somebody in the campground is going to have a motor home like this having just as much fun Have all the same equipment and amenities that you have With a lot heavier wallet because they bought it for about half price What you paid for yours and this is going to do everything those expensive ones will do Without breaking the bank I mean just a great running great driving great looking motor home Let's take a look inside you and as nice as the outside looks you're going to love the interior Folks, as I step inside, I mean, this thing has no odors, no pet odors, no smoke odors. And when you buy an RV from us, we're going to show you everything works great. And everything works really nice on this one. Up here in the front, like I said, you got 86,000 miles. Allison transmission, it's got the Jacob exhaust brake, a Jake brake. Backup camera, it's got the hydraulic power gear leveling jacks. It's already had the HD TV upgrade to front and back. It's got a manual point satellite system. I mean, look at the glass. Look at the dash. I mean, this is a nice motorhome, folks. And, um, I mean, heck, for the money, you just cannot beat it. Both these are flex steel captain's chairs. Those really comfortable chairs for a nice long drive. Uh, both of them swivel for party seating. It's got the defrost fans in the dash. And it's got the one floor plan everybody likes. That's the opposing sofa floor plan because, you know, this is the living area. You want to have plenty of room for everybody to sit, be comfortable. You've got a sleeper sofa here. You can sleep one on this sofa if you wanted to. And plus, you've got the two chairs that swivel around. I mean, the nice lighting. I mean, this is a nice motor home, folks. And like I said, this was in Fleetwood's heyday when they were pretty much the king of the road and nobody else. All solid hardwood cabinetry. Notice the crowned roof with the carpeted headliner to help reduce road noise and help insulate the RV. I mean, the carpet looks like brand new, folks. It's got real hardwood floors in the kitchen area. You've got real Corian countertops. They didn't cut no expenses back then. Whole lot different company than they are now. A whole lot better company, in my opinion, but than what than what they are now table and chairs you've got all the books and manuals notice the nice light fixtures really looks nice sets it off 
nice eight inch thick roof you got the fantastic vent fan instead of the the little five inch blade fan I like the way this hallway curves because it gives you a lot of privacy in the rear bedroom. I mean, like if you're sitting up front, you cannot look directly into the bedroom. So it gives you a lot of privacy. Uh, another nice feature upgrade. And this should be, it's already getting cold. I, I forgot my digital thermometer, folks, but I promise you, this thing right here is already getting cold and it's just been on about an hour. Uh, we, or of course, we're going to show you everything works. When you buy an RV from us, once you purchase it, my RV techs will take it to our shop. We go completely through them front to back, top to bottom, make sure everything works. Got a very extensive checklist that it has to pass. And of course, if we run into any problems, we fix it before you pick it up or we deliver it. And uh, folks, it takes us a few days once you buy it to do that. But I've got RV techs with over 20 years of experience and they check these things out very, very thoroughly and down to every last little light bulb. So rest assured, if there's anything not working right now, when you pick it up or we deliver it, it'll be functioning 100% perfectly. Uh, like I said, I really like this design of this hallway because you, you don't have a direct line of sight to the bedroom. You've got a really nice vanity area with a medicine cabinet. Got the nice countertops in here. Upgrade, glassed in, garden shower, skylight. I mean, you can look around the skylight. There's no watermarks, no stains. Like I said, somebody has really kept this motorhome up well over the years. Private water closet. You got the high rise porcelain RV toilet. It's got a washer and dryer, which, you know, you can use or not use. That's up to you. I'm not a big fan of them, but it does have it if you need it. So. You don't have to go out and spend 1500 two grand on one if you need one. I mean, notice all the molding around the top, uh, the trim work. Uh, down here, the Wayne's board. I mean, this is a nice motorhome, folks. This is not a cheap one by no means. Really nice rear bedroom. You got a Queen Island bed, uh, night stands on each side. Your second air conditioner's in here. You've got another HD TV upgrade. Big hanging closet at the foot of the bed. Got a solid privacy door right here so you can completely cut off the bedroom from the rest of the RV and get maximum privacy. You know, folks, this is a overall just extremely nice motorhome. I'll be honest with you. You can look at this RV for a 97 model and it's nicer than most motorhomes that are 8 to 10 years newer that you see on the market. And this is a 97 model, and it's priced a whole lot less than a motorhome is 8 to 10 years newer. And it's just as nice, if not nicer. I mean, literally, this is something you can drive for several years and still be worth 25 to 30 grand, even after you use it for several years. So something that you're not going to lose money on. Uh, I mean, you, you'd look at it this way. If you'd bought this thing brand new, and drove it off the lot from the new RV dealer, you would have lost enough on it at that point to buy this one two times over. Sad, but it's true, and it happens every day. But this is a great way, you know, if you want to get a diesel motor home, but you don't want to spend 40, 50 grand, but you want to get one that's nice enough that you can take cross country without breaking the bank, then this is one that you really need to consider because I really believe this is a nice motor home. Somebody has kept it up. You know, other nice things, too, and I know I've said this on my other videos, but it's true. If you want to see how a motorhome's been kept, look around the air conditioner vents, especially if it has this carpeted headliner. What it is, if the previous owners don't keep the filters changed, which a lot of them don't, or a lot of people just get lazy and take the filters out of the air conditioner return, what happens is you get a black stain around your air vents, and you cannot get that stain off. And the only way to keep that stain from getting on there is to keep your filters changed on your air conditioner. Most people never do that, but these people did. I mean, that's uh, there's no stains around the vents. And that, to me, that's a sign of a well-cared-for motorhome. And, you know, when you buy one, especially this age, you want to make sure that it's been taken care of. And that's definitely a big plus for it. I mean, it doesn't matter how cheap the price is if you get a motor home that's not been taken care of that's not been maintained like it should then you're asking for problems and this one I believe folks is is a nice motor home um, 
and I really think somebody who's going to scoop this up is going to have a nice diesel motor home for under 30 grand with a slide and washer and dryer. So give us a call if you're interested. It's 29.9, and I mean, you look out there on the internet, folks, for what's out there for this price range. There's nothing really to compare this to as far as the quality, the condition, and the amenities and options that you're getting with this RV for under 30 grand is really, really impressive. But, folks, that's why we're Parkway RV Center. That's why we've been in business for almost 50 years. And that's why we sell over 500 used RVs a year because you cannot beat our prices. 29.9 wheel trade. I know this is a 97 model, but believe it or not, I have financing available on this RV. I can get you 60 months at 2.5%. And I can probably get you, now this is depends on credit, of course, 72 to 84 months if you need a little bit longer extended terms. If you just give us a call, we can we can help you out with that. Our phone numbers are 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays are 423-605-6747. You can visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. We've got 150 plus used RVs. I have diesel motorhomes starting as low as $17,900 at this time. And I've got a great selection. If you're in the market for a motorhome, gas or diesel, you really need to check us out because I sell them all over the country because of our low prices. Uh, I've sold all 50 states, including multiple sales to Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, I've sold thousands all over Canada. I've sent several overseas to Australia. I've sent them to Italy, England, and the Netherlands because of our low prices. These folks didn't come from thousands of miles in some cases to, to buy an RV from us just because they like us. They came that far because they cannot beat our prices just like you can't beat the price on this Discovery for $29.9. Uh, you can email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. If you call us, don't worry because we don't have commissioned salespeople. You know, and a lot of you don't realize this, but when you buy from a lot that has commissioned salespeople, you're paying thousands more for the RV to cover their commission. Here's how it works. Other RV dealers, they don't want to pay their salespeople hourly or salary. They only want to pay them commission, and that's 25% of the gross profit. It's pretty much the industry standard. That means that that RV dealer has to mark their already higher prices up 25% more to cover the salesperson's commission. And this allows them to keep a large staff of RV salespeople on hand at any given time because they it's not costing them anything to have them there and they only have to pay them when they sell something. The bad thing about that is you may be the only person that salesperson talks to all week and you may not be ready to buy. I know this is something that you just don't jump into and buy the same day you look. I mean, a lot of people, they think weeks, months, sometimes years, and we're fine with that. But when you're a commission salesperson and somebody just says they're just looking, that's the worst thing you can ever say to a commission salesperson because they're going to bring the pressure on. They don't want you to just look, come back, weeks or months later and buy from somebody else or go somewhere else and buy weeks or months later. When you say you're just looking, they're going to bring every sales tactic, every sales pressure they know to do to get you to buy that day because if you don't buy one from them, they don't get paid a dime. They're going to bring pressure. They're going to always direct you toward the RV that has the highest dealer markup because that's the one that they're going to make the most commission on. Uh, so if they've got one on sale or one you really like and they've got one real similar to it that has a higher markup, even if it's not as nice of a coach, they're going to do their best to put you in that one with a higher markup so they can make more money. And that's just, you know, that's just the way commission works. Well, at Parkway RV Center, we don't believe that's the way RV buying should be. You know, we've been doing this 47 years. I'm the third generation here. We're family-owned, family-operated, selling nothing but used RVs. And... When you have the lowest prices on the internet like we do, we don't have to pay people to sell our RVs. My salespeople, they're here strictly for your benefit because to them, it doesn't matter if you buy one from them, buy one from somebody else here, or even if you go up the 